I'm going to go to our guest who are outside the federal facility, InfoWars. Their, their Skype just died, reconnected. Activists rally to free Adam Kokesh, calls floods. Call floods seeks to secure release of former Marine kidnapped by, for exercising First Amendment. Activists are rallying to secure the release of former Marine and broadcaster Adam Kokesh, who was arrested by police in Philadelphia on Saturday during a speech he gave at a marijuana legalization protest. By the way, he did not have marijuana and did not smoke it. And they came and singled him out on federal property and disappeared him and his girlfriend, his producers. None of them have heard from them. And do we have him back? We have him back. Ladies and gentlemen, some people are saying, hey, I don't like the fact this guy wants an arm march, so I'm not going to support him. Hey, I don't particularly like the idea. That's why I haven't done it, because I know they'll do stuff like this. And, and But once he's committed to it, we've people have got to have cameras there as observers to try to not let them set people up. And the Supreme Court did rule in 2008, you can have loaded rifles in D.C., and they've illegally not implemented the Constitution there. So I get like going to the lunch counter because you're black, and they tell you you're not allowed to. That's civil disobedience. It's breaking laws that are unconstitutional. They said, if you help slaves escape in 18, you know, 55, we'll execute you. Well, people still helped blacks escape, and, 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 they would, and they prosecuted and executed some of them. And so then people like John Brown started killing people, and they called him a terrorist. Uh, but the point is, is that I don't want it to get to that because we're winning the fight in the info war. Plus, the people we're going to be fighting are brainwashed. These are, on average, not bad people. Now, federal jail guards are another thing entirely. That's where they mainly hired people to run Abu Ghraib and other camps were jail guards that had complaint lists of rape and stuff to run the torture. That came out. So federal jail guards are as bad as it gets. And reportedly, Paul Watson saw this on the Facebook of Kokesh. We haven't confirmed it, uh, you know, th that, that it's actually happening. But people are saying when they call, there's jokes like, yeah, we shot Adam Kokesh in the head which is a terroristic threat if it's true. But see, they don't care because they've been told you're above the law. Go after the Tea Party. Go after everybody. And remember, the anti-terrorism stuff is pointed at the American people. We're joined by his uh, two producers, uh, Lucas Jewell and Daryl Young, who were on with us yesterday. Gentlemen, you're there. You're welcome after you talk. Get out and show us some video shots of the federal facility. The phone numbers to call are up on Infowars.com. But, you know, he's another talk show host, but I'm not in competition with him. I am in competition for uh, against the tyrants, and I'm pushing liberty, and we all hang together or we hang separate. And I've seen other talk show hosts making slide comments and things, and they're idiots. I expect if I ever get set up like this that you're going to support me. That's how the instinct of winning works. Gentlemen, give us the latest on what's happening to Adam Kokesh right now, who strayed onto Federal Park and got kidnapped. Well, uh, we're right outside. We're right outside. Uh, we're right outside of Federal Detention Center, Philadelphia, right now, which is a federal prison. Uh, today, Adam will be appearing in court uh, in about 45 minutes, and uh, we'll find out his bail and everything like that. Uh, we we haven't been in contact with him. None of his family has been in contact with him. Uh, it's been a couple of days now, so you know we're a little concerned. Yeah, that's putting it uh, lightly. Uh, I mean, he disappeared Saturday. Uh, what about the reports? And, and I haven't called yet, but others have. And I see a lot of it that, 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 that they're yelling at people. You told me they were rude when you went in and tried to find out where he was yesterday. They, they wouldn't even uh, say where he was. Uh, what can you say on that front? Yeah. Well, we still have no information. We're going in there expecting to find something out because we have no knowledge of what he's being charged with said we haven't had any contact from this man and we're just a little concerned because that's our friend forget the business partner that's our friend in this movement and we haven't heard anything a from little concerned i mean this, this we should all be concerned about this uh yeah. you, you you told me they were rude yesterday what did they say to you when, when oh, we went to the police on, on i believe it was saturday when we went to the police office to to find out where he was when they said he was picked up by the federal agents they just said hey unless we're a lawyer they can't provide any information to us that was basically it. And yeah, it that's pure bull. You're, you're obviously his friends on record. Uh, and his girlfriend hasn't heard from him. Family hasn't, correct? Correct. Spoke, spoke to his girlfriend early this morning. As soon as I hear something, I would definitely contact her immediately. Nobody has heard anything. Man, do you, folks, do you realize this is like Russia or Nazi Germany? This is over the top. 
And, and by the way, he shouldn't be in a federal facility. Usually a park police, federal, pick you up for being drunk or something. They give you the local police. He's in a federal jail, federal prison, correct? But Alex, we're the terrorists, so that's why he's in there. You know that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen to this article. Denver cops. This is on local news. This isn't me saying this. Denver cops arrest Italian shotgun manufacturer as a terrorist because at the gun show, he loaded the five to $10,000 Italian shotguns that he hadn't sold in the back of the... Uh, Imagine you pull up at a gun show, a, a rich Italian loads shotguns in the back of the car that he was unable to sell, uh, one of the finest models out there, and they arrested him as a terrorist, and the news reports that like it's normal. Yeah, just recently we had one of our protesters out here opening, carrying his, his firearm, and what they do call, no over-exaggerating, about 30 to 40 officers to come question this guy and bring him to the corner to, to find out if his gun is legit and like he's the one out there blowing up buildings killing babies like this is it's outrageous I mean, it's police no, that's the globalist doing that I mean, specifically on adam my, my friend specifically here so no one has heard from him and when and and, 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 and uh, correct me if i'm wrong but you said on radio yesterday you went in to talk to him and they said hey we're not even gonna tell you where he's at so how do we even know he's in the federal jail because the police told yeah. you telling people nobody knows we have well, yet to confirm it well no there uh i believe it's bop.gov is the bureau of prisons uh and there is something on there uh i've some people have sent me the link where it says that he's at fdc philadelphia which is right outside where we're at uh yesterday we had a bunch of people out here causing a ruckus making noise and we ended up having all these prisoners uh banging on the windows and everything so we caused quite a stir inside the uh prison <laughs> What about all the stuff we're seeing that when people call, they're, they're, they're saying they've killed him? Well, you know, I wouldn't put it past the government to do that. They've killed a lot of people. Uh, but I think it's highly unlikely that they actually did. Sure, because... sure. But, I mean, what happens? What have you heard when people call? The phone numbers are on Infowars.com. Uh, what are you hearing? Uh, well, whenever I call, I'm actually calling not to disturb anyone, but calling to get serious information. I've been in contact with our lawyer. Uh, we have two different lawyers. And uh, I'm actually just calling to try to get information. So I don't know what, you know, what the fans are calling and saying or. Well, for those know, that don't know, well, they're supporters of, of Liberty. Um, look, here's the issue. Everybody's seen the video, but you were there. But I've gone to all the angles now to make sure that, you know, people weren't being selective with it. He's up there giving a speech. They come and arrest him and then throw him on the ground and then disappear him. I mean, this is a kidnapping. It is. Yeah, it's, it's a kidnapping, but, you know, society isn't going to judge it as that because they're wearing funny costumes and shiny badges. You know, they have a pseudo society granted monopoly on the use of force. That's what government is. Unbelievable. So, uh, gentlemen, points you want to make. I just want to see my brother, man. I, just want, I, I want both of my brothers to be free. Not only Kokesh, but N.A. Poe is a political prisoner right now. Tell us who N.A. Poe is. So he disappeared into the yeah, snatch and grab. Yeah, he is the other half of the panic hour with Steve Miller Miller, just another political activist fighting the tyranny, just being active, educating people. And they, they want to stop people like that because they can spread the message of liberty and they want to continue poisoning and brainwashing people. And it's people like like that, that's wake, waking the people at a large number. So if they silence them, they feel like they can silence that large amount of number, that large number. But you can't stop what we do. They can't. Yeah, Alex, I was actually on uh, on the radio or internet radio show with some people you work with yesterday, and they they told me, you know, you're on the list, right? Like, you know, you're on the government list. If you're not on the list right now as an American citizen, you should be ashamed. You should be ashamed of yourself for not standing up against this brutal tyranny. People I work with, somebody from my office? It, yeah. Uh, someone who claim they were affiliated with you. Well, everybody does that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to ask you off air who that was. Let's let's put this back up on screen here. Uh, there it is. Uh, that's at the federal prison's website. Adam Kokesh, register number 69371-066. Uh, 41-year-old white male. That's uh, not true. Yeah. Uh, so they say he's 41. <laughs> How old is Adam? 31. 31. Uh, uh, let, let's punch it back up so the feds can't even... Pretty soon it'll be a conspiracy theory to be able to get a number right. And it says <laughs> release date unknown, Philadelphia FDC, Federal Department of Corrections. 
And uh, there you go. So he's in there. We're going to come back from break. I want you guys to get your laptop out and maybe give us a walking tour. Uh, cool. Show us the facility when we come back in three minutes for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers, okay? Cool. Sounds good. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> My judge, what is the secret of the universe? <laughs> Infoworth.com. <Yeah. laughs> By the way, folks, they're not just getting rid of the Fourth and Fifth Amendment, the First, all of it, the Tenth Amendment. They're getting rid of everything and saying they're going to raise your taxes up to 80%. France, it's now at 100%. Reuters is reporting. I'm not joking, 100%. But then it turned out all the socialists were exempt and had Swiss bank accounts. They are robbers. Robbers will take everything you've got and your life for fun. They've already robbed you? I'll go ahead and shoot you. Boom. Because they like it. It's what they like to do. Now, there's Skype cut out. We're trying to reconnect right now. Uh, and as soon as we get them, we'll uh, 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 get them back on. But the whole point is, is that if they arrested him for even the marijuana, I'd say, okay, it'll be fought out in court. But, I mean, he's not even smoking marijuana, and he's giving a speech, and they go and grab him, tackle him, and then disappear him. I mean, this is a big deal. At G20, we got footage of them just grabbing peaceful protesters and disappearing them. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. Now, going back to Adam Kokesh's producers, Lucas Jewell and Daryl Young, uh, with his media operation, there is partners in that. Finishing up, uh, get out with the laptop if you can, or finish any points you want to make uh, about this political prisoner, Adam Kokesh, and the other fellow. We have the phone numbers, all the details at Infowars.com. Uh, and uh, make any other points you want as you show viewers shots of the federal gulag. Yeah, uh... Daryl is securing the, the vehicle right now. Uh, we're right outside of the Federal Detention Center here in Philly. Uh, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come up to the door and show you more stuff. Oh uh, man, I almost jaywalked in front of a cop. Oh my gosh, you're so evil. What a criminal. Uh, see here. I don't know if you can see in the camera. So this is where he's being held. Federal Detention Center in Philly. All right, so we walk across here. This is where we were yesterday. We were bullhorning. We were causing quite a stir. Uh, we were actually bullhorning these front doors here. Uh, not a lot of traffic coming in and out. Oh my gosh, but you know if you were by yourself, they'd come over and say you're not allowed to videotape and threaten to arrest you for terrorism, like Molly Rogers, one of our crew members, a few months ago. And then and then when, once you come and confront them, they go, oh, there is no law. We apologize. In fact, we uh, sh uh, step back from the laptop. Uh, give us all a wide shot of the facility, please, sir. Let's see what we have here. Ab the absolutely. So somewhere in there, we believe... Adam is being held by the goons who can't even put his name right in the computer. And then, correct. And here we have a couple guardians of the emperor here. Allegedly, we're not supposed to be standing where I'm standing. Oh, yeah. Uh, show me the guardians of the emperor. Here we are. We have a couple police officers here. Uh, obviously afraid of the camera because, you know, good deeds are done in light, Alex. So yeah, Show us. Yeah, keep it going. Here we are. We got... No, the bald guy, he's not afraid to be... Yeah, 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 show us the bald guy. 
Oh, look, he's got a badge. Right. He's God. Hey, uh, that badge only means something if you're lawful. Our viewers have demanded it, so now you're going to get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. and arms 50 cal ammo review and more coming in the month of june to the info war so the feds and the federal government's not even federal it's occupied by the globalist came over and told them they couldn't be filming in front of the uh, god center the the the, the house of uh, our, our our owners the federal foreign banker minions Adam Kokesh was arrested for a speech he gave, a peaceful speech in um, uh, in Philadelphia. And uh, now uh, his uh, producers are out there. They have a laptop uh, with live video feed Skype, and they won't say why he's been arrested. He's disappeared. The full details are at Infowars.com. Um, let's go live to that video feed right now before their laptop dies. It's almost out of batteries. Here we go. All is back. We'll go with this as long as fun. All right, we're live here uh, right in front of the uh, FPC Philly. It's me and Daryl. Um, and we have these two gentlemen. Actually, now it's three. The bald head guy came back. We have these three gentlemen who are here in silly costumes <laughs> to prevent us from, fr from freely moving our bodies. Oh, so what are they? What are the uh, guys in uh, costumes doing? M maybe you'd do what they said. They're wearing Star Trek costumes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, hey, try to tip the camera down. Give us a full shot. There we go. What What are they doing? Blocking you? What's he doing? Well, Alex, I, I had to waste the taxpayers' money. You know how to rest. I have some military experience in the use of force continuum. The first uh, step in the use of force continuum is presence. So I believe they're establishing a presence to try to intimidate activists from coming out here and causing a ruckus like we did uh, yesterday. Here, show us the ball headed guy. Pan these guys. I hope his Skype hasn't cut out. Well, good job, guys. So, I mean, they've disappeared and. And, and, and drug Kokesh off into a spider hole. Uh, they're in there working for the globalists. This is the government that publicly ships in almost all the narcotics, runs the opium fields in Afghanistan. And uh, they've got like some kind of gate, it looks like, out there trying to block you guys from standing in front uh, of the spider hole. Uh, and people need to go to Infowars.com, get the article, Activist Rally to Free Adam Kokesh. I'm going to have Paul Watson. Well, you guys, I am Paul Watson, that federal filing. Uh, yeah, I am him that link, and we'll have that screenshotted and put in there. And they can't even get that he's 31. They have that he's 41. <laughs> he's white. At least they got that right. Maybe they'll say he's black next. And, uh, you know, it's unknown why you guys in the federal government are so evil. That's what's unknown. But we're going to be we're going to be covering uh, all of this, ladies and gentlemen. Me, I'm a big, sweet teddy bear. And, and, and uh, that's that's what I could grow a goatee, though. Maybe shave my head. Everybody like that? <laughs> All right, man. We're going to go to break. We lost those guys. Uh, this is only going to intensify the awakening in this country. And if they ever disappear me into one of these spider holes, just know that's our victory. And just continue moving forward. Because there are a bunch of people that are scared following their unconstitutional orders. And that's why they're scared of his armed march on Washington, peaceful, to demonstrate the Second Amendment. They're scared of the idea that even if they provocateur, that's going to come out. And uh, they they understand that th they're trying to dominate us right now and break our will and set the precedent that we have no basic liberty. And, and it's all coming out that we do have a tyranny. And so people are now having that choice. Like, okay, we're in a tyranny. Now what do we do about it? And, the, and either people will acquiesce to it and we'll go into a very long, dark time, or people will start non-compliance across the board everywhere. And uh, their uh, video feed cut out. But, but call their cell phone. Give them our hotline, guys. If they have any problems out there, tell them to call in during the show today, okay? Visit Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. 
There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. (laughs) 